Um, hey guys. Okay, hi, welcome to uh, today's lesson. Uh, today we are on matrices or matrix, but yeah, so uh, this is N format. So we will discuss on what a determinant of a matrix is. So let's first talk about a matrix. So a matrix is uh, something like a, a representation of numbers. So you can have uh, numbers represented in a matrix. This is called a matrix, numbers like this. So your matrix, uh, they have sizes. They have sizes there. So if you check uh, A, B, C, this is called uh, row one. But A, A, D, G going down, it's column one. So this way it's a row. So this one have three rows, three columns, you see. So this one is called a three by three matrix there. So two by two matrix, which means you'll have only two rows and two columns. So you can also have matrix like this. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six. So what will this be called? This do you see this one? You have one, two, three rows, two columns. So this will be called a three by two. So you start with uh, rows then columns. But we are not interested in these other things because in 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 your course. You only we only det uh, interested in uh, we don't care about the size they give you the size all the time so we only interested in calculating a determinant uh, using Kramer's rule to solve the equations and knowing your cofactors and minors so that's all we are interested in but if you uh, decide to study maths further then you will have to know these other things but for now let's get to business of the day. So a two by two matrix is uh, you have only two rows and two columns. So let's say you have A, B, C. This is a matrix if it's like this. If for a determinant, they, they, they are using straight uh, lines there. So determinant of that matrix, I hope you can see the difference. I used straight lines. So even in in an exam if they ask you to uh, okay just a moment if if they ask you you know they are cars making a uh, very loud bass when they pass by okay so if they if they say determine for example if they say determine and they show straight lines they don't have to tell you a determinant this straight line says it's a determinant you have to know Okay, so a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. This one is the easiest determinant. You only multiply the first, the first and last, which will be what? AD. Then you subtract, you multiply the third, the second and third, which is BC. Like that. That's how you'll do your determinant. So for example, if I have determinant of 1, 2, 3, 4. My answer will be what will be 1 multiplied by 4 minus 2 multiplied by 3, which is what? Which is 4 minus 6, which is minus 2. That's my determinant. Eh? But now with 3 by 3, it's it's a bit complicated. But but if you get it, it's not it's not it's not difficult. So let me first show you. So let's say I have that a, b. C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Determinant of this. How do you calculate this? So with this one, they will tell you. Uh, they if they ask you to calculate determinant, they tell you uh, calculate the determinant of this by expanding row one or by expanding column two. They they pick any row, any column. So, for example, if they say by expanding row 1, which means they want you to use row 1. There. So, there's one thing you should know. In your textbook, when they calculate the 3 by 3 matrix, they always... Okay, f f uh, let's go before 
before that part let me show you something first so let's let's first calculate when they say by expanding row one so which means you must use row one and change the columns to get uh, the other thing so do you see if i take the whole row one i have how many columns i have column one row one column two row row one column three row one so the first one let me use a red color if i can tell column one do you see what i'm left with i'm left with a e i mean e f h i so you put it in a determinant box like this e f h i then plus now i'm going to the second part the second part i can use yellow color i'm cancelling row two but uh the easier way to deal with this is to erase this because we'll have many colors there e f h i so now if i'm going to the yellow one i'm cancelling column two if i cancel column two do you see i'm left with d f g i so remember i said plus then i'm putting my four my four uh elements of a matrix which is like this then i'm saying plus now i'm going to the last column i can use maybe a blue color but first let me cancel this one the last one with a blue color it's this one i'm canceling this one then now i'm left with what do you see i'm left with d e d e g h and we definitely can calculate uh this this ones we are left with we know how to calculate them we know we can calculate this matrix which will be e i minus f h this one will be d i minus uh, fg this one will be dh minus eg but outside here we have cofactors which are very important for example do you see uh if you check the one i'm doing now for row one and column three do you see the the, the two uh the column and row they are meeting at c so this c is a cofactor you must put it outside here do you see then if you go back to the second one the, the yellow one the yellow one they were meeting at b which is this one so you must put b outside here then the red one they were meeting at a which is this one you must put a this side but another thing this c a b and c some some it's positive some it's negative so you have to know which one is negative which one is positive so i'll, I'll choose okay just a moment all right now that's the part i wanted to explain because uh the, the a will be positive and c will be positive but b will be negative but i'll show you how if you check your diagram i mean your textbooks uh if i have my i'll, I'll put it here because of space uh okay but because i've already explained two by two let me just write it here so that it can make sense let for example let's take a if i take a let me erase here if i take a this is i if i take column one and row one and column one we said they are meeting at a so you will write a outside then inside you write the remaining element which is e f h i okay but before then here you have this common factor which is called minus one exponent i r plus c some they say i plus j i means i is your row number your j is your column number so do you see if my i is one because this is row one and this is column one so this will be it will be minus one exponent two so anything exponent uh even number it's positive one so that's why this is uh positive but if you go to the second one b b is what it's row one column two if we say one plus two it's three it's an odd number so minus it will be minus one times b that's why this is negative you see will be positive but instead of doing 
that long process i always say students uh, tell students to memorize this thing this is very easy you have to know the first position is positive then the next one it's negative positive negative positive do you see if if the one next to it is positive the next one should be negative so just know that so for example we were using the first row do you see we said a is positive there it is positive a b we said it's negative negative b c we said it's positive so instead of doing this long process here just stick to this one it's easy to remember because as long as you know the first one is positive then anything next to it should be the different sign so that's how we will calculate uh, our three by three then from there you just calculate you calculate this one normal like this method here then after that you multiply with a then you go to b you do the same thing you calculate you multiply with b you calculate uh, c you multiply with c but we will do examples so that you can uh, see it okay okay here let's determine just a quick example this ones we already know them so determine a determinant of 2 multiplied by 4 i mean 2 3 let's say 6 determine the determinant you know it will be the first one and the last one don't forget this one it's important because you will use it always so do you see what's the determinant it's it's 8 minus uh, 18 which is minus 10 that's number one this one we don't have to do a lot i can say zero and then i can use minus one two and three so we know this one the first one will be zero times three minus minus one times two this is zero minus minus two which is positive two and you don't have okay but it's fine you can do it step by step but when you calculate the three by three determinant step by step can be a, a, a waste of time but when you practice you get used to it and you can do it quicker for now if it's your first time seeing it you don't have to be quicker you can take your time but i know determinant is one thing that can really waste your time if you are slow when you write an exam okay let's go to a three by three now so three by three I want us to calculate the determinant of 3 by 3. So we can put any numbers we want. Let's say we have 2, 1, let's say minus 2, let's say we have 3, 0, let's say 6, 7, let's say 1, 1. There. Remember the first thing they will they will tell you, they will ask you to calculate the determinant using or expanding row one or expanding they can pick anything as long as you know rows are the, uh, the horizontal ones columns are the vertical ones so let's say this one they said calculate determinant by expanding column let's say column three do you see column three there so if they say column three they want us to expand this column here so don't forget our symbol that's uh, those uh, signs of ours we said we have positive negative positive negative positive it is easy to remember the signs don't repeat if it's what was positive the next one should be negative so which means our two there will be positive two not positive two it will be multiplied by positive so which means it will remain negative two our six will be multiplied by negative will be negative six our one will be multiplied by positive there so that's what we know first so our two is multiplied by positive if we leave it there remember inside we need the remaining elements our six is multiplied by negative it's negative six inside we need the remaining our one is multiplied by positive then we put the remaining so now let's go let's cancel let me start here the first one we must cancel row one what am i left with i'm left with three zero seven one i hope that's clear now let's go to yellow let's cancel row two row two now i'm left with two 
one seven one perfect now let's cancel okay which blue i want a darker blue let me use a light blue now let's cancel last row last row now i'm left with two one three zero there now let's calculate let me go back to my white color when you calculate remember that minus two must multiply inside the bracket i'll have what i'll have three times one minus seven times zero minus six inside the bracket i'll have what this is the normal two by two matrix here i'll have two times one minus seven times one the last one i have one inside the bracket i have two times zero minus three times one then from here you can put everything in your calculator or if you are afraid of making mistakes do it step by step we know three times one is three minus seven times zero this will be zero so we'll be left with three minus zero. Six there inside the bracket you have what we have two minus seven, which will give us minus five. Then your one there inside the bracket you have zero minus uh three, which is minus three. Then you put you put in, in your calculator now. You have minus six. Okay, let me press my calculator for this. Okay, so Minus 2 times 3, minus 6, minus 5. And you must you must be careful you don't make mistakes. It's easy to make mistakes. So I'm getting 21. So maybe I made mistake. If you get a different one, don't panic. Maybe I made mistake. Because I'm also pressing no one is yet to correct me. But make sure you don't avoid mistakes because they will cost you. So that's the answer I'm getting. So this is uh, calculating... Uh, a determinant by expanding column three if i expand row one or row two or anything out of the other five options i have remember i can expand row row one or row two row three or i can expand column one column two the answer should be the same the answer should be the same the problem the only thing is that when you write it they will specify which uh, column or row to use so you can use any one you prefer even though the answers will be the same but the, the thing is they specified so you should do it the way they want it okay so yeah i think we should do the same one and do with a different row or column and see if we get the same answer okay i'm looking for my pen just a moment okay guys so we are repeating the same uh matrix we're using the same matrix again but now we are doing with a different uh we're expanding a different row or column so we have two one minus two we have uh three zero six we have seven one one there so we can expand with a different column if they give you let's say let's say uh expand by determined by expanding row 2 so let's say i'm expanding row 2 which is this row there the first thing always start by writing your signs start by writing your signs i hope from this signs we can see do you see your 3 is same position with minus 3 so which means i'll have minus 3 then your zero is same position as positive. Then your six is position with minus. So that's why it's minus six. So what happens now? If I cancel, because if, if I'm using uh, the rows, I must cancel column by column. So if I'm canceling column one, I'll be left with what? One minus two, one, one. So I'll be left with one minus two one one now i'm going to the yellow color so if i'm using yellow if i'm using yellow now i must cancel column two this is just to show you you don't have to you don't even have to cancel. if you can do it in your head it's fine so if i'm canceling column two 
then I'm left with 2 minus 2, 7, 1. Then lastly, if I'm cancelling last column, I'm left with 2, 1, 7, 1. So now let's write our ants. So we start here, minus 3. I'll have what? 1 times 1. Minus. Do you see I have minus? Then we know that minus and this minus will make it positive. 2 times 1. Or you can put everything in brackets. You can say uh, this one. For this one here, let me do it here. You can say 1 times 1 minus minus 2 times 1. Just that you will end up having many brackets. You see? If you have minus, just know that because the equation already have minus, it will change that into positive. Okay, then if you have a zero outside, you don't have, don't bother calculating inside. Just put zero because everything inside there will still be multiplied by zero. Then now minus six, two times one, minus seven times one. So let's calculate. I have minus three, I have one plus two, which is three. I have minus six, I have two minus uh seven which is minus five so put in your calculator i have minus three times three minus six times minus five i'm getting 39 yeah so something is wrong the answer should be exactly the same oh no i said minus three inside that bracket so it's 21 it's correct here I substituted minus 3 in here. So it's 21. Do you see the answers are exactly the same? So it doesn't matter which row or column you expand. But remember the question that will specify that use row 1, use column 1. Or... Yeah. So let's do this one from the 2021 uh, July examination. Then it's the last example we are doing. Okay, guys. So now let's do... Okay, this is a question from this is a question from uh, July 2021 final exam. There. So in this question, they gave you equations. They said a plus 2b plus 3c equals to 1. Then they said 2a plus 3b minus 2c equals to 3 and they said minus 2a minus 3b minus c equals to 5. the question here is to determine the determinant by expanding column 1 first column they said first column but it's the same thing as column 1 so when you get such a question the first thing you should make sure of is uh, all the variables are in line or in the same order. Do you see? Uh, if you check your equation, all your a's are in the, uh, starting, then, then there's b, then there's c, then all your constants are on one side. So, for example, if any of the equation was something like this, let's say they say uh, c minus a plus 5 equals to 2b. Two this is not the same order as other variables. So you must make sure you change that to this to that order, which you start with A, then you take B to that side, then C is still this side, then you take 5 to the other side. Do you see now? This is the same order. So before anything else, make sure you change everything to one order. Okay, then after that, you take the coefficients of your variables. So I have 1. I have 2, I have minus 2. I have 2, 3, and minus 3. I have 3, minus 2, and minus 1. You leave out the constants. We are, con we are only interested in the variables. Then don't forget you make your signs there. They said expand column 1. This is column 1. So if I take my column 1, the first thing. Okay, before everything else, do you see 1 is with positive 1? So which means this will remain positive 1. Then you put your entries there. 
Then the second one is 2. Your 2 is negative. So this will be negative 2. Then the last one is negative 2. This negative 2 is multiplying positive. So which means it's still negative 2. That one shouldn't trick you at all. Then now we go, we are putting inside our uh, determinant brackets. So we have column 1, row 1. What are we left with? 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1. Then erase, put column 1, row 2. What are we left with? 2, 3 minus 3 minus 1. Erase. Remember, if you don't understand, pause and try to get it. Then we do the last one. We are left with what? With 2, 3, 3, minus 2. Then now we can calculate. We have 1. Inside we have what? 3 and minus 1. This is minus 3. You see, now I'm no longer multiplying 3 times minus 1. I'm just doing it in my head. 3 times minus 1. Then minus. If I multiply these two, minus 2 and minus 3, I'm getting positive 6. Remember this minus is from the equation. Then I'm going to minus 2. 2 and 1 and minus 1 is minus 2. Minus. Minus 3 times 3 is minus 9, which will make this positive 9. Minus 2 there. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. Minus three times three it's nine. Now you can put you can you can put everything in your calculator. That's that's what I'm doing now when I'm quiet. So I'm getting three positive three. That's my determinant. There, that's the question. And this question was four max. Only four max. Yeah, and we are done, guys. I hope uh, everything was clear. Yeah, so please just go through it again and again until you get it. Alright. So uh, your determinant for 3 by 3 matrix is very important. When you do, uh, what do you call it? When you do Kramer's rule, you will need uh, to know this method. Because they are, they are easy methods to calculate determinant this one is not one of the easiest but this is unfortunately the method you have to know for n4 because you will you will need it for kramer's rule and other things because here they specify use which column use which row okay thank you okay i'll see you next time guys goodbye